I think I booted up the wrong fucking game. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Did you know Namco have a patent on um, putting mini games in Molly yes. Filter? But it, yeah. I've heard about that. That's kind of stupid as hell. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of unbelievably stupid. Like, imagine how many nice games. Play the game. yeah, yeah, like, you play the whole game during the loading screen, it's just like, no, fuck you. And we're not even gonna use it ourselves. Yeah, right? Although, that is pretty memorable. You see a lot of King's face there. Yeah, that's probably the most you ever see of it. <laughs> and it's the first time you ever see him. <laughs> It's just weird to me knowing that, like, on the same console, they had a game with intros that are like, you know, uh, FMVs that are just way better than this. Well, that's how, that's how quickly it progressed. Yeah. 90s are pretty wild in terms of progression. In 95, like, holy shit. So I guess I should say right away, I have almost no experience with the first two games. Good, that makes it more interesting for me to <laughs> imitate. So I as I understand it, this game's not actually that great. Uh, I mean... It is what it um, is. No, no, it's garbage. <laughs> ah, okay. This game sucks. Right on. No, no, I love Tekken, but... No, this is the Street Fighter 1 of the series. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that bad, but it's like, I, I would never want to go back to this. Tekken 2 is fine, like Tekken 2 is perfect. I, I have a good time with Tekken 2. This is just no. So it's like there's like no sidestepping, I think? Nope. There's no back throws. <laughs> if you try and back do a back throw, just nothing happens. Oh, nice. Oh, we've got chain throws though, we just got those from the start. <laughs> it's also slow as hell compared to what you used to. Yeah, it. Honestly, if I didn't know better, I'd say this was like an emulation thing, and it was like running at like 75% speed. No, this is this is how it plays. It's an interesting outfit she has. Round one. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, King is broken in this game. Um, I forget the exact command, but he has like a. God, that's so slow. Um, oh yeah, and the jump. The first two games, you actually jump like you're on the moon. What was the thing about King was he has a uh, Frankensteiner. He has a, a move that's like it's something absurd. It's like plus fifteen on block. You could just like keep doing it. What the fuck? And they can't escape. I mean, this game was more of a tech demo than anything else. Went for the unblockable and got KO. Nice. I guess the stage. I mean, that this game was amazing. This was a. Uh, I got three games with my PlayStation. I got this, Ridge Racer, also by Namco, and Battle Arena Toshinden. And just to put the, this is like slow, and I don't want to play it now, but I still chose it over Toshinden. <laughs> this was very much like, oh, this seems so cool back then, but. <laughs> Jesus! Oh yeah, I don't know if you can hit them after that, in this game. What? Also, notice that the, there's no head tracking, they always look dead forwards. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's something they added later. You win. <laughs> Are these um, uh, stages yeah, like just... character dependent, or...? No, okay. it's completely random. Yeah, it's been interesting to do some of your Is this um, I think they were than the others? I don't know if this is an emulator or war. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think they were editing out load screens. Ah. Very simple with strings. Be interesting to do a video and just, like, what, what moves do they still have in uh, Tekken 7? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to think this is even part of the same franchise, it's so... removed. Right? I mean, where's her wedding dress? Fight. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's on. that's stupid slow in this game. Yeah, but everything else is slow as well. That's fair, yeah. Like, they had this thing with the infinite uh, stages, and some of them don't look quite right, although these so far have been pretty alright. Eh, uh, it's always been weird. I wouldn't mind seeing some Tekken 1 stages back. Actually, they did Fiji in uh, Tag 2, with a remix of that tune. Huh. I quite like the soundtrack, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty yeah. decent. I like this track, it's probably the best track. I'm... It's a little weird that they have like the stage name just kind of glued to the bottom right of the screen. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is Chicago, there's no ambiguity there. <laughs> They're all very much real world locations as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't been to Chicago, but I have heard that it is basically an endless checkerboard. Oh, yeah. I mean, say what you will about the respective franchises, um, Virtual Fighter 1 did play better than this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can always do that. Um, Lake Windermere is interesting stage. <laughs> I have been here. I have been here. <laughs> I didn't quite look like this. Oh, here's that Jack voice that we're gonna hear for the rest of the series. No, 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 no change. Like they added some filters to it. I think it's still the same voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how big it like? How big his arms are compared to his legs? <laughs> I was about to say, I was... I'm starting to notice that. I was like, holy shit. He's got some Gigas proportions. Look at your one costume for him. <laughs> you win. Yeah. A lot of these wind poses are like, still around. Yeah. Like, the camera's a bit more dramatic, but. I remember that was, uh, it's kind of weird, but in Tag 2, when they had to, like, do the intros completely differently, that's one thing I really missed, was, uh, seeing a lot of the old intros. Yeah. Because they, like, they're still referencing ones that I remember from Tekken 3. Mm. It's like a bit of parallax going on with the backgrounds, but I don't know, I think 2 dropped that? Maybe in favor of, of more detailed character models. Oh yeah, that's why if you try an air throw, they're just gonna get knocked over. <laughs> I don't know what the get-up options are in this game. We've seen some of them. Yeah, like some of the more like complicated ones are still there, so that's interesting. Mm. That like that roll forward into like springboard thing. Oh, I forgot something. Right, look at the uh, the top left. Well, in a second. Um, I've mentioned it's not showing it, but it says press select to change the camera angle. What? There's multiple camera angles in this game, including oh. a top down one. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's awful. Look how much damage that did. Jesus. Oh, you can do the. Okay, you can do the spring kick. That's pretty impressive. Every time they have, like, a, a change the camera button, I always think of how it is in, like, GTA, where you get, like, these <laughs> weird camera angles that you just cannot drive with. Yeah, cinematic camera. Yeah. God, I can't believe they have that in this. Yeah. I think King has a uh, multi-stage throw in this as well, believe it or not. So, Michelle is one of those characters that, like, it's been there oh, since the beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's baseball. <laughs> but, like, yeah, Michelle's one of those characters that never came back, but, like, almost everyone else does. Well, she was replaced by Julia. Yeah, but, I don't know. Simple as that. I mean, because, like, Forrest Law didn't replace Marshall, though, you know? But that was the plan. And then they just wow. brought Marshall back for whatever reason. Yeah, exactly. Like, they... 
They were like, Marshall just needs to come back, but Michelle, nah, fuck her. It's like, why? Just, well, just female, younger. Yeah. I don't know. Um, most of the sub-block bosses are like, like, model swaps of existing characters. Lee is lore, which is, it seems very far removed nowadays. They have some unique moves, they're not... When you play technically, you know what it's like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't do a back throw there. And there are th three introduced side throws. Because, you know, sidestepping. It's a final boss who appears in a random setting. <laughs> I also love this track. It's so creepy. He has Jack's voice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Also, I don't know what the hell he just did. <laughs> That's a good question, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sort of growing up knowing this, but yeah, now you've pointed out. Yeah, that's kind of weird, he has Jack's voice. It's a lot of that, like, jumping down punch in this Oh, game. yeah, the AI loves to do that in the first two games. Okay. I think in Tekken 2 they use this music for Armor King. Which... <laughs> That's pretty interesting. This is the canon ending. Anna loses a shoe. I don't think I've ever seen this before. No. <laughs> oh, these endings are pretty good. <laughs> Someone oh, forgot shoe. a texture in my f left foot! Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one sound of it. <laughs> what kind of an ending is this? Just shows a relationship, I guess. You know, we've got, we've got a long way to go for character building. That's fair. More subtle than firing rockets at each other. <laughs> I don't really remember these credits because when I was a kid, I would just skip them. Yeah. But we're watching them now. So is Harada's name actually going to appear here, or...? I was wondering that. Did he, did he start in 2, or...? Oh, no, no, because he was the original voice of Yoshimitsu, so... Huh. Got like a program. Look at someone had to make it, yeah. Yeah? Fair enough. So they weren't using... <laughs> I almost thought I was like, Katsushiro! Oh, oh, no, wait, no. <laughs> they don't, uh, use pseudonyms, do they? No. Like a snap she paid his stuff or whatever, or... <laughs> I don't know. I think Snamco Bandai. Oh wait, no, just, Nam just Namco. <laughs> Count down. Alright. Game over. So, we reach the game where it's actually... You can go back to this and still have a good time. <laughs> also, it's an intro. It's great, and I'm watching it in your movie. <laughs> look, look at the difference one year. I said this again, saying all the same stuff I said last time. But... Yeah, right? There are two new characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that ask is new, and it's like, well, just ask that for me. I've noticed that uh, having done all these fighting games right about, they do have a habit of uh, pushing that in intros. All these companies. Fucking air. Yeah, they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just showing off. <laughs> Look what we can render. 
It still looks like spaghetti, but you know, it's an improvement. It was it was good by then. <laughs> I say that I like first played this like it was like like ninety seven. So. <laughs> All right, yeah. King's just a drunken alley in that intro. Now also bosses take them in. Oh wow. Why didn't they bring Angel back for Tekken 7? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why are they still doing the auto oh. oh, yeah, so the title screen changes when you unlock every character. <laughs> which is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, yeah, okay, the intro is terrifying. Oh, yeah. I remember thinking, why is it all mechanical? I'm like, oh wait, Iron Fist, okay. Ah. Iron Fist, Iron Terror. <laughs> oh, he's oh. a secret character in this, I forgot about that. <laughs> he's like the last one you unlock as well. After, well, before Devil. So, Heihachi's the main character? Yes. Huh. I didn't realize how much that changed uh, in the start of the series. Oh yeah, because like, you had a heel turn, he was the protagonist of the first game. Oh yeah, I get that, but I didn't realize he wasn't the protagonist of this game. No. Like, like that he's, was he's already. <laughs> So you can see, it's just way faster. It's just you, the sidestepping probably be weird for you if you ever played this. Yeah, yeah. But it's just way more pleasant to play than uh, the previous game. It's still dated, don't get me wrong. But I want to say take, like two hours to get up. I remember the backgrounds in this one kind of bothering me a little. Like they don't quite match up with the uh, the ground. Round yeah, that's well. fair enough. Oh, and uh, in case you didn't realize, the uh, stage is very much linked with the characters. Oh, yeah. I like this uh, Yoshi design. Yeah. It gets I don't mind seeing this come back. A lot of good designs. Uh, up until, mm. like, Tag 2. <laughs> yeah. This is the game that introduces a uh, robotic hand, as you saw in the intro. So you can now do the helicopter move. If I remember correctly, uh, if... That's the Vardis voice! <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time I can think of uh, the director voicing a character in their own game. Oh yeah, what's his name? The uh, cool gear dude? Sorry? The guilty gear dude. Oh yeah, there was that too. I was thinking of uh, oh. Sakurai. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think Harada was like like a creative producer at this point. Right, yeah. I think he was just a wheel in the cog. A cog in the machine, cog in the <laughs> wheel, what? <laughs> These the wind poses are the same. They just have the camera do be a bit more dramatic. Yeah. He still has a, a twin pistons launcher. Oh, perfect. Hey, that's new. <laughs> it wasn't until Taken Three they were like, "Why are they jumping like they're on the moon? Like this isn't Street Fighter." <laughs> like, there's no benefit to jumping, so. Right. Yeah. Not literally non, but it's like it's a ground based game. Yeah. Given how Especially when you have a sidestep, but it's like I can get past them through other means. Man, this is starting to really look like Tekken, you know? Like, yeah. Pretty much everything's here. Not quite. If you if you played it, it would feel a little off. Yeah. yeah. It's certainly. Round one. Yeah. Fight. <laughs> 
I've done some uh, Tekken 2 playthroughs as King, like since I've played in Tekken 7. It's quite fun to see what he has and doesn't have. Giant Swing, I think he's always had. <laughs> I think it's always been the same. I was really expecting him to do a Shining Wizard, but no, he doesn't have that. <laughs> oh, that's the move. That's the move. That's the one that it was like insane in the oh. Tekken 1. You think I'd know the command, if, you know, being a King main. <laughs> I really like the soundtrack. Yeah. Let's see why. This whole game is pretty. I don't know. Melv says the same thing. It's pretty ambient, kind of. Take it downtrodden. Right. Like, like the the hero is now a bad guy, and you know everything sucks. <laughs> oh, he just got a wave dash there. That's. It's so weird to me. It's like. Like how oh, they yeah. have how they handle protagonists and antagonists, it's like they're kinda of one of the same. Yeah. Jun became a dick as well, though not as not as dramatically as Kazuya did. I forgot to say, uh Kazuya is the one character in this game who has a sidestep. Oh. And they were like, oh maybe we should bring that back for everyone. <laughs> maybe we should just make that a standard thing. Yeah, like this this floor doesn't match this background at all. Like, nah. That's what weirded me out that, like, the first game kind of did that better than this one. But... Yeah, I mean, take mine, it's an arcade port as well. I think the arcade version was a little different. Oh. Maybe something got lost in translation. Also, notice how the shading is, like, completely different. Yeah? I always notice how sharp the characters looked. I don't mean like I don't mean high res. I mean like they, they've got a lot of right angles on their bodies. Yeah. It's something to do with the render, the way they rendered the models. No, I think Tekken 3 did a different style. Something to do with like filtering, like so you can't see yeah. the edge of things. Um, Digital Foundry today. Video on the subject. Oh yeah, and there was a sidestep. <laughs> now this stage, like, what is actually going on? Like, they're in the middle of the ocean? On a... Well, I thought it was, like, like Ellis Island or something. Well, not Ellis Island, because uh, Liberty's behind them, but... I think it's just... Yeah, there's no island. I've been there, there's no island. There's no <laughs> weird platform with stars on it. <laughs> Like a barge, I don't know. <laughs> Certainly, I mean, there's so many depictions of New York in fighting games. It's kind of weird. I've never really seen this angle just from the from the river. A funky tune, though. Yeah. It's called big miracle crushing fist. I think it's called. I love this stage, I love this theme. I see, this makes more sense, because it looks just like a rooftop. Yeah. Even though it is infinite, but I mean... Uh... Well... Oh, we'll get to Tekken 4. <laughs> I love Lee's voice in this. In fact, I think he... It sounds pretty much exactly the same in the new game. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like so many games are done Bruce Lee and they're just like, fuck it, let's uh, put Jackie Chan in. <laughs> it doesn't quite have all the stances, that was more Tekken 3. I know he doesn't have as many stances as Lay, but it feels like he does. Well, um, I don't know how to pronounce this, Bake or Bay, whatever, you know. The Taekwondo style started with him in this game. Right, I forget about that. Which is weird, because he's a secret character. Yeah! They came up with it, like a new fighting style, and Bruce is a kickboxer. 
Oh. <laughs> so, the conditions of fight Roger and Alex are actually very specific. I think you have to, like, end a fight with a grate in, like, round four or something. Okay. And that's how you unlock them, whereas I think this is just because he is sub-boss, because he just doesn't have one. Oh. <laughs> and all the characters are unlocked. That's a king move. Oh, he's got a bunch of king moves. <laughs> He's, he's primarily king moves. Ah. If he does a shining wizard, I'd be so happy. This is also a track from Tekken 1 that we didn't hear. Oh, this isn't Roger Jr. This is just Roger. No. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't this, is, uh, this is his dad. Of course, what did you need to find is actually his mother, that's not... Right, of course. Oh, I've chosen a great video, because uh, this isn't the normal fucking Kazuya fight. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, still ten hit, okay. Right, well, normally this is where you fight Kazuya. And you get him in his purple suit, which is like the best costume ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still got the same theme, though. Good music. Jeez. Oh, God, this is like my favorite track in the whole series, probably. It's called Emotionless Passion. Nuki son! <laughs> <laughs> you should be spanking him. Oh, well, yeah, that's the only thing they did. I suppose it'd be no better retrospective to show the actual boss, but yeah, whatever. Still so get this. Now he gets to fight himself. Round one. Fight! fight. <laughs> yup! Yup! Uh. He's not that hard. Despite what this guy's making it look like. <laughs> He's not like a cheap or difficult boss. In fact, Tekken doesn't really do that, apart from maybe like Jim Jim Pachi. Yeah. As as a Zell, as a Zell, whatever. I never fought that guy. Mm, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> It's pretty cheap. I always like he blocks with his wings. <laughs> Isn't the stage supposed to have like a dumb looking Hall of Mirrors thing in it? Yes, it is. <sighs> Someone fucked up the animation. It literally just displays everything that's on screen. No, I've seen it and I, I remember looking at it being like, that looks stupid. <laughs> Kind of looks better without it, honestly. Yeah, I've got nostalgia for it, but yeah, fair enough. Best ending. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Even in the ending, they're still on a Tekken stage because it just kind of ends. <laughs> Well, I could depict it somehow. <laughs> I love this so much. Some music as well. I guess with there being no dialogue, uh, there's some music more. Yeah. It's weird, they didn't do voices until Tekken 4. Well, no, they have that one uh, Julia ending. Julia ending, yeah. <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> Mother! Oh, this track as well is really good. They remixed it in Tag 2. <laughs> Weird. It's very different game thematically. Yeah, it is. Like, not to fair call it to weird, it's more like just unusual for the time. 
Polygon reduction. <laughs> we hired some people to make the game look worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's his job. <laughs> How somber this is! It's... Yeah, you wouldn't get this in a modern Tekken game. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, this is weird. I like it. It's just it's out there. So it's, uh, it's in tag two as well. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They even get their own credit. Oh, Ken Kutuagi. Hmm? Ken Kutuagi, the uh, creator of the PlayStation. Huh. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just special thanks. He just showed up. <laughs> Aye, I'm taking over the project. <laughs> you can give him a special thanks and he's got his foot in the door. The special thanks for going. <laughs> oh, I don't remember this bit. I was just an Amco logo. Okay. Oh. Didn't know where that was going. It was like a... <laughs> <laughs> now we must return to the output. So I played this game a lot. I think we all did. <laughs> I had it on a demo disc, and then I went out and bought it. I think I had a pirate copy. <laughs> Jeez. As it was the style at the time. <laughs> this is so good looking. Yeah. Just that shot of Heiachi is just like. He looks like a human being. <laughs> this was just like. I mean, 98 was just so many like Game of the Year candidates. <laughs> And this is definitely one of them. Every time I hear this song, I remember that this was remixed in Namco Cross Capcom really badly. <laughs> it's a weird choice for King's theme, but that's what they went with. I think so, I saw on Twitter, I forget who it was, maybe Dinos, um, when I, it's so cool that you can actually do that move in game. You know, like, you can do that back launcher into the whatever it is I don't play show you. Yeah. <laughs> like he's always jumping out of explosions in this, or jumping through glass. Yeah. Just doing a lot. When's he going to be playable <laughs> in Master? Right. I never realized who that was, again, because I didn't... <laughs> play first game, so I'm like, who the fuck is Kazuya? <laughs> he was the protagonist of the first game and the main villain of the second game, and then he wasn't in the third game. And then he was dead, and then they were like, oh, he's popular. Whoops. <laughs> we'll bring him back. He'll survive being thrown into a volcano. Oh, I'm glad they're showing these off. Yeah. Tekken 2 didn't have booze. It's funny because I never really thought Tekken like directly completed with Street Fighter. You know, it was like Street Fighter versus KOF, and this was just kind of, you know, it's just kind of doing its own thing. Yeah, it's kind of how it's always been. Tekken's always just kind of ignored the trends and just plowed on. You know, doing like the fighting game Dark Age, people like to talk about. It's like Tekken was still just doing its thing, and arguably got one of its best games, uh, Dark Resurrection. Yeah. I was just curious how they like kept all the models in without loading. I know that's kind of a geeky thing to say, but... No, I get what you mean, yeah. I never thought about that. 
They have all the characters there, and they don't have to load any it's, of them. It's definitely not pre-rendered, so... Yeah. Just because they have, like, an alternate version, I think? Maybe, like, a cache? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> He's never coming back, I'm <laughs> sure. Jin is your replacement forever. And then Ogre. Just... What the fuck is Ogre doing here? I don't know, he's gonna punch him there. <laughs> Take uh, what? <laughs> Whoa. Um, what do we do? How long is this video? <laughs> it's like 30 what? minutes. The... Hold on. Uh, okay. No I was just showing off all the modes, okay. Oh! <laughs> sure. Weird, but okay. You have to beat this four times to get Oskanovich. Oh. This was a weird thing, like, it's like a full circle thing where they were like, you know, fighting games kind of came from beat-em-ups, so let's make a beat-em-up out of a fighting game. Sure. I think it's just them like, hey, we need to put some more effort into this uh, arcade port. We don't want people like just instantly selling it or just renting it, I guess. I guess it's that mental thing again. Oh, yeah, yeah. But hey, you get some extra mood, so. In fact, I think that's why they did character unlocks in general. Because they didn't want people venting it and then just instantly, like, yeah. taking it back. <laughs> she hurts herself when she does that now. Whenever I play this game with my friends, um, he's like, oh, I find the memory of this one. I'm like, why? Oh, right, character unlocks. <laughs> this is the uh, arcade soundtrack. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. Which, uh, I will say I do like the console one more, but... Yeah. I wonder if maybe we'll change it, I don't know. No. It's, a, it, it's a weird video for a long player of a fighting yeah. game, but... What's the first thing you do, Tekken Force? <laughs> That's the main mode, isn't it? And then you got that one-on-one -on -one, uh, mini game. Yeah, I saw that coming up. Um, chicken. Honestly, I had a lot of fun playing this mode. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I would still have it nowadays, but like, I don't know, nah. Just, this is a good way to kill time. time yeah. We've got a time crisis thing going on. Oh yeah, that's right. There's also Namco. It's kind of wild as well. Yeah. It's always really, uh, I guess, the, yeah, this song, because this became oh. Julia's theme. Yeah, this is the sub-boss theme in the arcade version, and then they're just like, oh, where do we use it now? Yeah, Julia. <laughs> so I kind of wish they had the other one though, because I like that theme. Yeah, yeah. I like all the music in this game, like all the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a counter. For his, it's like you talked all about how much you like the other two soundtracks. I didn't really grow up with them, but I grew up with this one, and I fucking love every song in this game. I think, uh, I think, objectively, it's probably the best of the yeah. three. But I mean, t I mean, uh, 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 <laughs> 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 that never happened. <laughs> okay. So what was weird. I saying? I, I, I went the soundtrack to Tekken 1 is like, fine, let's not really listen to it. Eh, it seemed pretty good. It seemed like the best part of that game, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's hard to think we're on the same system here, like, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so weird how just this series in this one console generation came so fucking far. Well, the PS1 was so weird and limited, it was like... It was all like technical tri trickery to 
make your games decent. Yeah. Rapid. People tried using it for like sprite based games, but they had to like do weird stuff with it to like, mm. they had, like use polygons, I think, for the sprites. Yeah, something like that, yeah. It's just like, I mean, polygons are just new in general, so it's like, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. Oh, it's Anno again. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping to do a wall combo, I'm like, oh wait, no. <laughs> All right, this oh is yeah, this one's at the angle. I don't know if we're I just realized we're, playing, we're seeing Nino again, after like Tekken 1. Oh yeah. I don't know if uh, we're ever going to see it, but... Tekken 4 apparently did a mode similar to this. Yeah, yeah, it was just straight up called Tekken Force again. Yeah. I saw a task of it's really good, but I may, that one may be a little too long to watch. I don't know. Yeah. Oh god, are we gonna have to do scenario campaign? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I don't, I don't know what the long player videos are gonna be like. No, I, I guess that is a story mode. mode. I guess it would have to be. Yeah. I'm not watching. I'm not watching that. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but maybe I should watch it. Just yeah, I really curious. can't remember much what about it. She like 180 after that. What the hell? I think there's like hacks, like Game Shark actually replay code to actually plays these guys in arcade. <laughs> They're like woefully incomplete. <laughs> like you really can't do much. If I remember correctly, they have like Brian moves. Yeah. I'll just ignore the food that's bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to stomp him, buddy. She couldn't reach him. It's kind of weird in being out of bounds. Yeah. It's like, that's something you can never see in another Tekken game, pretty much. Maybe four. <laughs> four so fucked up before we could, yeah. You got a key. Now you do it four more times. <laughs> to get a weird joke character. That's actually kind of fun to play. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. So, next port of call, the obvious one. <laughs> yes, of course. What kind of long faces? It's a real big fan of the Williams. Oh, oh. So. <laughs> the best great. character. God. Fucking hate Round fighting this piece one. of shit. Forget the Tekken already had like a guest character a long time ago. Yeah, although I think Gon is now best known for being a Tekken. Yeah, pretty much. I like his theme. Yeah. Let's say, do we go back to the uh, console soundtrack, or is it just him having like only one theme? Well, he wasn't in the arcade version, so. Yeah, it's gone and Doctor B were like the two console exclusive characters. Yeah. That's now a thing. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> I remember correctly, if you hit the ball with Yoshimitsu's sword, you actually take damage. Oh. Like, it just disappears and you get punished. Huh. I don't know if I ever saw that one. Yeah. This is a silly mode, and I kind of love it. Oh yeah, it is good fun. <laughs> right. That went close. <laughs> okay. Uh, arcade mode. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, they stumped- Oh, he has to play his dumb side mode? <laughs> uh. 
like holy Buddha juice. Oh, oh okay. Sure. Yoshimitsu's portrait in this, though. Uh, <laughs> still Harada. <laughs> this is a secondary costume. I'm noticing, yeah, pretty much all the secondary costumes have been shown aside from that one technical match. Mm -hmm. I guess the uh, the other games actually did use uh, like alternate costumes, didn't it? Like they weren't just like color swaps. Yeah. So when they had like voice actors, but they they never spoke. Yeah. Because that's always what I remember about Tekken Four the most. It wasn't even like the walls and stuff. It was just like, oh my god, they're talking. <laughs> I'm a little bummed we we're not going to hear most of the console soundtrack. Yeah. It's still good, but yeah, you know, it's not as good. Yeah, PlayStation Long Play. Uh, yeah, we'll do the arcade soundtrack. <laughs> like, isn't there an arcade long play as well? No. Somehow use the console soundtrack for that one. <laughs> Act it in. Just to <laughs> fuck with everyone. Oh, I guess you can use it as a launch in this game. So, I feel like doing something in, in this video at least. Uh, the damage values in this game are fucked. Um, Yoshimitsu has a, like, three hit move that does, like, 90% to 100, depending. Well, in um, Tekken 6, they just upped all of the characters' health just because the combos were like, oh, everyone's dying too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tekken 5 still had that problem. And they introduced Bound in 6, and it's like, oh, these long combos are killing everyone too quickly. I want to say NBC 3 did something like the opposite of that, where. Uh, because I remember like early versions of the game where they were showing it off and it's like, yeah, we gotta do something because uh, the matches keep ending in timeouts. Oh, yeah! So they're like... I yeah, it really did. That may be in vanilla MVC3 or... Yeah. Or... yeah. I think they have the damage values and everything because they were just like, holy shit. Also, n note how um, even just three games in, uh, I'm going not afraid to update the character designs, given new primary costumes and shit. Oh yeah. Where Street Fighter's just like, no, no, we can't change them. <laughs> no, 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 until all the way until five. Wait, see, it's just like, oh, it's, he's more more of a cop in this one. Well, I suppose he was before, but he's more like this. Yeah. Right, this is an ultimate, but... It's, it's, there's stances. Yeah? Look at that shit, it's great. It's so weird to me now, like, looking back at this and realizing, like, I played this a ton, I don't think I played it on, like, any reasonable level. Like, there's so much more depth to it than I ever realized. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, kids won't. Yeah, yeah. It's just neat looking back and realizing, like, this, they did a lot to this game, you know? Yeah. I remember saying uh, when we did the ending commentary, I made sort of reference, why isn't Lay in Tekken 7? <laughs> oh, yeah. Which kind of dates that video a bit. <laughs> Kind of unrelated. I still love the, uh, like that Street Fighter One video. It, we, we spent so long like actually getting it made that like it was. Uh, we posted sometime <laughs> after the Evo tournament, and in the video we're just like, man, I, it turns out Leroy might be kind of broken. <laughs> it's like no, oh. no more, he ain't. <laughs> oh yeah, you put your phone, yeah. It was like I posted it like sometime like a week after Evo Japan, so it's like, you know, yeah. Oh, I just sound like yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like oh. yeah, like no shit, Sherlock. I'm like <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, I didn't have that. That's not my fault. It wasn't time travel. When I said wasn't wrong. <laughs> no, yeah. 
<laughs> Fucking Captain Obvious. <laughs> we not seeing future tournaments. Oh man, this this is this is a severe downgrade from his PlayStation theme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot he could do that. Mm -hmm. Just like cancel was unblockable. Yeah. And he's fucking cool. Yeah, late to uh, late PS1 games were an interesting time. It's like this and then Tony Hawk's too. Hell yeah. I can't I was gonna name other games I can't think of any. <laughs> Next up we're gonna watch all the Tony Hawk games. Oh my favorite fighting game. <laughs> I was thinking about Soul Blade because that was on the same system as this, but if we did a retrospective of those, I'd just get really depressed. So it was like worse. <laughs> I might do Soul Blade in the odds and ends, though. It's like there were a lot of games that uh, they kind of had like the reboot roster, you know, mm. like Street Fighter Three, uh, this, Garo, Garo, yeah. Uh, it's Soul Art of Fighting Three. Oh yeah, Soul Calibur Five. Kind, yeah, they kind of half-assed that one. Yeah, I think that was like budgetary reasons as well. I think that was the plan, and then they were like, "Shit, we've got no money." Um, the vault is back. We're gonna miss again. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Cross references between the Soul games and Tekken have been. Pretty restrained, all things considered. Yeah, I honestly find that really weird. Whereas, like, Street Fighter and Dark Souls is just like fucking throwing all the references. Right, yeah. Hell, they've like merged Final Fight into Street Fighter, you know? Yeah. They're not afraid and, of that um, kind of stuff, but. Art of, Art of Fighting and um, Fatal Fury just went, fuck it, let's make a whole series of them crossing over. Yeah, right? And then, Whereas, yeah, these two, they're just like, nah, keep them separate. Nah, they got Yoshimitsu, that's about it. Yeah, that's, that's kind of all you need. It's, it's, just, it's a good one as well, like... Right? Yeah. The dude with the sword. No, you know, he, he making made an the ancestor. Made the transition really well. This theme is weird. I kind of dig it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to when we are commentating on this. The arcade version is is on the new arc, um, like a new system board, and it looks substantially better than this. I think the the backgrounds are actually polygons, huh. like they not full 3D, but they've got like a lot more depth than this PS1 board. Oh, tower drop! Like they read, yeah. They, <laughs> I never noticed that before. They they, uh, they really like really push the PS1 here, like considering this is the same system as Tekken One. Right. Uh, also, Italian tomato. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that merry-go-round was animated. Ah. Oh yeah, and this is based on a real place. Oh. It's like a like a Namco kind of mini. Like that, that, that uh, merry-go-round roundabout, whatever you call it, is real. Huh. Oh, was real, I don't know if it still exists. Jeez. Okay, this thing goes places. Yeah. I don't think I've actually listened to it all before. Yeah, I, I like it. The, uh, yeah, the thing about this new soundtrack is both arcade and console, uh, the tracks are really long, and they really go places, a lot of them. Yeah? For a fighting game. Now, you only heard that much of it because it went to three rounds. Right, and like, all those rounds are really long, they never nearly ran out the time on all of them. Speaking of music is when they actually remix a bunch. <laughs> this guitar. Oh! <laughs> it was a Ray's theme, and then, and then uh, Die Hard Trilogy it was in. It's in fucking... 
Conker's Bad No, Friday. no, uh, hang on, I'm thinking of the select theme, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Seen the wrong thing. Uh, this one's in uh, Conquer, which is fucking weird. Okay. I just remember I was watching a long play of that like a long time ago, and then like this little riff started playing, and I'm like, oh, okay. The Jin's here. Yes. And I heard the uh, the riff from Lay's theme in something recently. Now, oh wow, what it was. wow, that paid off. What was Jin doing? Oh, we missed a. Yeah. <laughs> I forget if this did sub bosses as well, because uh, he's unlocked all the characters. I think Paul's is Kuma. If it is, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Also, I like how the uh, characters share stages, so this is the Heiachi slash Julia stage. Yeah, that was pretty weird that Julia ended up with, us, with this one for some reason. It's like she got the she got the leftover theme and then like the stage. Yeah. Word. Maybe she was designed last. Maybe. I think it'd be pretty easy to give her Yoshimitsu stage. I think he uh, has that one unique to him. Oh no, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh yeah, the shadow under Ogre's face in that portrait. I always thought it was a gaping mouth. <laughs> I was going like, oh. Now I have to look at it again. That's that's all I ever saw. <laughs> Till like uncomfortably recently. Oh wait, well you just fucking jobbed. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, this is canon. Oh yeah. Paul was the de one defeated uh, Ogre's first form. And then he just he thought he was done, he just fucked off back home and didn't <laughs> see this happen. Interesting take on the music here. So it's used the console when I forgot that they did this. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> Again, I just really like the uh, console music here. Yeah. Cause it's like pretty understated, and then mm. it just kind of like builds a little bit on it. Yeah, it feels a little uh, wild. Yeah, they brought True Ogre back in the tag. Yeah, tag two is interesting. <laughs> well, no, they brought him back as Ogre, and then the old one is Ancient Ogre. Yeah. Rebranding, yeah. As well, it's because uh, they had he like quite a human ogre back first, uh, and I think they had a true ogre in as a console version. But they already called that first one just plain ogre. Right. Oh wait, no, no. Sorry, it was the monster one first, yeah, and yeah. then the human one. <laughs> I love this. It's this road rush music. <laughs> the little pause in the music is so brilliant. It's such a small touch, but I love it. It's like they, they yeah, they really sync the music up well in these endings. It's because they didn't have like voice acting. Yeah. There he is, right? And this uh, director. <laughs> a bit better than just uh, special thanks. <laughs> Pretty uh, dynamic credits here. How different are these from the last game? <laughs> Yeah, This music compared to the last credits thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a credit for Gone. Singer Jewel, Tekken has never been afraid to just, like, just do things. Yeah. It's like, like, I mean, kind of what you can say about Tekken 4. It's like, well, a lot of those weren't great Maybe ideas, different. but you know what? You can't blame for trying. It doesn't seem, it seems to just ignore what everyone else is doing and just do its own thing. Yeah. Until we got to, like, Tekken 5, like, they didn't really do, like, the vision thing either. They're just, like, one game. Like, just one game. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they did like, oh, and then they realised like, okay, in terms of balance, yeah, we kind of need to do revisions. And even Tekken 7, what we, what we would call vanilla Tekken 7 that released on consoles and PC, it was like a heavily revised arcade game. Alright. It was like Fated Retribution or whatever. This is the sort of music you'd only hear in the late 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1998, what a hell of a year for games, Jesus. <laughs> what a strange long play, but okay.